The one thing that countries, companies, and people must do is get to know this number and then watch it as it changes. If you're watching this video in January 2008, you may not recognize this number. 383.94 is last month's reading for carbon dioxide, the main greenhouse gas that's responsible for global warming and climate change. To get the monthly CO2 readings, scientists measure air samples taken at the Mauna Loa Observatory in Hawaii. So, December 1958. That was just a number of months after the world's first CO2 instrument record got underway. Back then, the December 1958 reading was 314.67. What has happened over the last half century? For each month of December, every reading was higher than the reading for the previous December. Every reading, every year. By December 2006, CO2 had reached 381.85, and it only increased again in December 2007. Now, according to the journal Science, carbon dioxide was, by 2005, more than 27% higher than record levels for the past 650,000 years. CO2 levels are high and the upward trend is consistent and strong. Despite all the good things that many people have said and researched and done all around the globe to reduce CO2 accumulations and to address the root causes of climate change, CO2 levels are accelerating. So what can we do differently? We can, on a large scale, take just 10 seconds a month to check out the latest CO2 number. And then what would happen? I think a lot more people may start to notice a few things, such as the pattern of CO2 rising like clockwork year after year. Where can people find the latest CO2 number? Well, you can get the official source data at this FTP page. To make it a lot easier to see the latest CO2 number and the historical numbers, I created a new website with the help and encouragement of my family and a few friends. The site is called themostimportantnumber.org. The number is a regular performance indicator for how well humans are working together and with the Earth's natural systems to address greenhouse gases. It's a bottom line indicator that accounts for all the known and all the unknown additions and the subtractions into and out of the atmosphere. Let's start watching and keep watching CO2 and then we'll see what happens. Okay, let's go.